Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Bus Interview. Today we have invited somebody very special from the gaming world. He is Mr. Gabe Layden, the former founder of the former CEO of Machine <laughs> Zone and currently the founder and CEO of Satori. Welcome. Thank you. So could you give a brief introduction about yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm a Silicon Valley entrepreneur. I've been running startups for about 14 years in Silicon Valley. My most famous was Machine Zone, where we built the big uh, hits, Game of War, Mobile Strike, Final Fantasy, New Empire. Uh, we became the largest mobile game developer in North America. And about six and a half years ago, we started working on our technology called Satori. And we have now, uh, we're in the process of spinning that out of Machine Zone, where I'll uh, become the CEO of Satori, which is focused on, we're taking the technology and focus on the crypto market. So like you said, you were a CEO of a world-renowned gaming company. However, you moved out of the CEO position and took charge of Satori. So why was crypto and blockchain so valuable to you and what caught your eye? I saw the beginning of mobile, smartphone app revolution. We were the first free-to-play app developer at Machine Zone on iOS in January 2009. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the beginning, it looked a lot like this market looks like now, except uh, it's kind of wild, lots of weird stuff going on, tons of developers, conferences all over the world. Except in this market, we're already talking a multi-hundred billion dollar market, and it's clear to me that it's just getting started. Mm -hmm. So the potential for this to be a multi-trillion dollar market that changes practically everything having to do it with at least finance, mm -hmm. uh, we're, 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 we're disrupting the entire financial ecosystem with, with blockchains and cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. uh, the upside, uh, the business potential is... Uh, Kind of unparalleled, and I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't think we'll, I don't think we'll see a business where we're taking software uh, and, and disrupting the literally the entire financial ecosystem with this. So uh, it's something that I don't think any entrepreneur uh, should be avoiding at the moment. I think mm -hmm. you'd be crazy to miss out on what's happening. So could you give a brief introduction about Satori? I mean, what you want to achieve? What are your plans for Satori? Yeah, so Satori is a very high throughput pub sub messaging system that uh, we are bringing a new form of consensus to the market with a uh, streaming consensus protocol for the purpose of very fast consensus for messages that do not need to be saved forever. Right now, we're writing everything to a ledger because we're balancing cryptocurrencies. Uh, and what we're going to bring is a very fast streaming consensus for the purpose of sending out a message to the world uh, at very high volumes, uh, but not a message that needs to be stored to a ledger forever. And what we're going to build with that, uh, we, while there's many applications that we can build with the streaming consensus protocol, what we're going to build with it is a decentralized order book for the purpose of creating a public exchange that is embedded into the internet itself. Uh, so rather than an exchange that's a website, an exchange that's a fundamental part of the internet uh, that everybody has access to. So I'm kind of curious to ask, where did the name Satori come from? Uh, it, means, it means sudden enlightenment in Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, and Satori is a very large scale real-time messaging system that allows you to interact with hundreds of millions of devices at, in real time. Mm -hmm. So you can create kind of this real-time queryable view of an a huge environment, kind of an unbelievably large environment of literally hundreds of millions of devices at once. Mm -hmm. So when we think of this kind of sudden enlightenment, we think about this real-time, real-time programmable view of everything. Mm -hmm. So that's where the name came from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Satori just, uh, uh, well, passed, announced uh, the release of Litcoin. So, and through Litcoin, Satori wants to achieve uh, AI mesh technology to the pub available to the public. So can you expand on the concept of what AI mesh means? So what we provide is programmable streaming. Uh, so you can take these vast streams of information, whether it's audio, video, structured data, binary data, and you can run it through a real-time compute layer inside of Satori, mm -hmm. which will allow you to do things like video analysis, audio analysis, uh, tremendous amount of analytics, or and even alerts and automatic responses to the streams of information that you're getting. So what we're bringing to the market is a, a big part of computing in general, consumer applications or just uh, financial applications, is streaming. Mm -hmm. Like real-time access to data, real-time responses to data, real-time automated responses to data. Mm -hmm. And the blockchain crypto world is missing that totally. So the real-time aspects of crypto need to be handled by entirely new 
form of decentralization and consensus in order to get the kind of financial real-time environment for the space, mm -hmm. we need to think about streaming in a totally different way. So what are your visions for Lit? How do you think the world's gonna be changed once Lit becomes you know, everybody's you know, embedded technology? Well, I imagine a single, synchronized, real-time exchange for the internet, mm -hmm. where if you have a crypto asset on any blockchain, you'll be able to trade it with any other trade, any other owner of a crypto asset on any other blockchain. Mm -hmm. So instead of logging into an exchange, we'll have a public real-time feed of all traders trading with each other, any crypto asset mm -hmm. um, in a, a sort of exchange list exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin doesn't have a website. There's no there's no website I log into mm -hmm. to uh, you know buy my bitcoins. Mm -hmm. And exchanges uh, will not need websites either. Uh, mm -hmm. They will be a fundamental protocol of the internet itself mm -hmm. and cryptocurrencies and these ledgers, these distributed ledgers allow us to create this kind of environment and Satori will allow us to create a real-time messaging layer for us to communicate with each other how we want to trade our crypto assets. So I see a world where there's only one exchange and that exchange is a fundamental part of the internet itself where we can create a global liquidity floor, one global liquidity floor for all things crypto mm -hmm. to create a very nice structured, ordered, very thick, very liquid market instead of these centralized exchanges that have become, uh, a lot of them have become very bad players, very, very harmful to the cryptocurrency market. So we need to, we need to decentralize every aspect of the exchange. Mm -hmm. All of it, including the real-time aspects, mm -hmm. and that's what we're working on. And among the all of the aspects that you see in your vision, what are your priorities? Well, the the the, the, the crypto exchange market, exchange market. There's nothing bigger than that. Mm -hmm. It's there, when when people talk about mass adoption in crypto, there's thirty to fifty billion dollars, or thirty billion dollars plus of crypto being exchanged every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have miners that are you know, taking the <laughs> like, huge share of electricity from countries. Mm -hmm. uh, we have t tens of millions of owners, or mm -hmm. not hundreds of millions of crypto owners, uh, and it's just accelerating the unique ownership of crypto assets. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, everybody in the market's like, well, when are we going to hit mass adoption? Mm -hmm. We already have. Mm -hmm. We're at the conference right now with 10,000 with 10, people. Right, so um, I think it's gonna. We're at the very beginning of the acceleration, the, the inflection point, and the adoption, like the user adoption, whether they know it or not, whether they're using knowingly using cryptocurrencies or not, whether they know it, whether whether they're running uh, uh, mining rigs, mm -hmm. whether they're participating in trade trading or wallets mm -hmm. or purchasing things. I think we're about to see a wave of adoption. Um, that's way bigger than we've already seen. Look how big it already is. Mm -hmm. So this is the beginning, the tiny little wave. So as an entrepreneur, I think I recognize that, and there's no bigger technology market you could work in mm -hmm. than the crypto market right now. And in achieving that goal, how is Lit Token or Lit Coin? Lit Token, right? Lit Token will become the default settlement for all crypto exchanges, mm -hmm. for all crypto asset exchanges between two people. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I see it: is the a fun a, a, de a, decentral a, a decentralized messaging layer for any crypto asset to exchange with each other in real time. So users through Lit tokens, they will be able to exchange their cryptocurrencies without relying on crypto exchanges. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And how will you balance the volatility of coins? Because one morning you wake up, Bitcoin is like this. And well, I'm not trying to like... solve everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm trying to create that public exchange layer, mm -hmm. a public real time exchange layer. so that. The blockchains give us a settlement layer for you and I to trade, mm -hmm. but it's so slow that we put everything on our on these centralized exchanges. So mm -hmm. I want to bring the bid ask environment, the real time bid ask environment, mm -hmm. to the internet itself as a protocol mm -hmm. that anybody can subscribe to and participate in. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to create that the the decentralized the the fundamental part of the exchange that we all like, which is the real time matching of it. Per se, if I want to buy Bitcoin for like you know, was it, is it like seven hundred bucks? Oh, it's higher than that. <laughs> well, maybe I haven't checked my phone in a while. Maybe. <laughs> if I put we'll my see. bid up, if yeah. I put my bid up, oh my gosh, <laughs> other 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 users will look look on it and exchange. yeah, you'd have a way for you to publicly announce what you want to trade for mm -hmm. to the internet, to the internet itself mm -hmm. in real time. Mm -hmm. And uh, my vision is hundreds of millions of machines will see that 
mm -hmm. and decide to, to, to take it or not. Mm -hmm. So imagine being able to publicly broadcast to the entire internet in real time that you have something that you'd like to trade. Mm -hmm. That's extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to solve liquidity. I want to solve decentralization of real-time trading. Scalability, uh, scalability well, yes. of that. And in order to do that, you need a different type of consensus, a different type of decentralization that it's not ledger driven, but mem in memory driven, mm -hmm. streaming driven. And I think we're going to kick off a whole new wave of consensus messaging, ephemeral consensus messaging, real time ephemeral consensus messaging for, for, for things that do not need to be stored forever, but do need to be true and do need to be trusted. So you're taking part in Blockchain Open Forum 2018. So what's your take on the event so far? That's great. I, mean, I love <laughs> Korea. I mean, any excuse to come out to Korea is awesome. And uh, it's, it's the most dynamic crypto market in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody here cares about it, and we all want to see it succeed. So um, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. So if we send out an invitation for another event, you'll be taking part in that Yeah, well. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit of a favor uh, to those who are not into crypto. Yeah. Could you send out a message so that, hey, this is the timing to get in it? Could you send the message out for those who well, are Well, the timing crypto? to get in it, it's, it's, I would say as a, um, if you're curious about it, if you are wondering what's going on, it might be worth it, you know, if you can afford it. Don't spend a lot of money, but maybe you go buy a little bit of a Bitcoin and uh, just hold on to it uh, because I think it's a real revolution. And I, I, I imagine maybe when they play this tape back 20 years, uh, <laughs> people are going to say, wow, you're so lucky to say that 20 years ago. I, I really feel, And it may be very volatile and, and you should be careful. You should definitely be careful. But it's kind of silly to miss at the same time. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Gabe Layden, the founder and CEO of Satori. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you much. so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.